Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hi, my name is Noria. So I want to get back into doing a series I did a long time ago. Actually, I lie, it's not a series. I only had one video. It was basically the benefits of peppermint oil. You guys can actually check that out right here. But I wanted to get back into explaining the benefits of different oils that, one, I use a lot in my DIYs, and two, that just pop up a lot in certain products because of their benefits and stuff like that. And with all these oils, there are so much information about what they can be used for and then going into scents and stuff like that. And I just wanted to come in and simplify for as much as I can. Now, this is no way a all-inclusive thing. This is basically just helping you get a gist of where you can look for certain ingredients if you want to start doing your own DIYs and stuff like that. So with all of this thing, just saying, do your own research is the gist of what I'm saying. I'm just trying to conclude, condense it for you so you're not looking everywhere. So for this video, I am talking about the benefits of Ilang Ilang. Hopefully I said that right. So this oil, one, I love just because of the scent. So I use it in almost all my DIYs just because of the scent alone, but it actually has a lot more uses. Now I actually have a condensed version written out just because there is a lot and I don't want to forget anything so don't mind me if I'm looking at this. Starting off it is a great antidepressant mainly because of the scent so it just promotes that feeling of relaxation so a lot of times if we have anxiety or you know we're sad not feeling that well normally this is a nice scent to go to because it does have that calming and relaxing feel it is also, which I just found out, is antiseptic, which means that it helps stun micro uh, bacterial growth and kind of help and helps clean wounds. I did not know that I used it purely just for hair reasons or scent reasons, as I said. So learning that it treats that is pretty cool. So you'll also see uh, Ilang Ilang in a lot of skincare and hair products because the sebum is regulated through or it helps with sebum regulation and that means that if you are extra oily or dry it helps balance everything out promoting skin hydration it helps a lot with just keeping everything balanced so it is promoted a lot in making a youthful glow and stuff like that so when you see that in there as an essential oil. That's one of the reasons why. Another thing is apparently it's an aphrodisiac. I don't know how much that claim is true, but that was one of the main things I saw when researching for this uh, this oil that, that popped up a lot and it's like, okay. As far as blending goes, because of course with DIYs, it's paired well with bergamot, grapefruit, lavender, and sandalwood. Of course you can mix it with whatever you want, but it seems to be from most of the research I found, those are just the ones that it blends the most, or blends the, those seem to be the ones that it blends well the most. So if you're doing your DIYs, just take that into consideration. So again, a couple common uses, hair, on the skin, definitely in a bath. So if you're getting into a bath, a couple drops in the water, it does help with that relaxing scent. It has a, like a slight floral, tropical scent, so that is one big plus on its side because a lot of people like that smell and you have something that does it and it has a lot of health benefits so relaxing soaks face creams and moisturizers scalp massages stuff like that this yeah and needs to say the one I have is pretty much gone I use it so much granted essential oils last a while when you buy them but that's just how much I use it because I'm gonna have to buy more so yeah well, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm going to try to start doing this once a week on top of my other videos. It's just whether I have the time or not. So I'm also testing this out, seeing if you guys like these types of videos. I do have a whole lot more essential oils and uh, carrier oils and 
just other stuff I use for my DIY that I would love to review and help you guys out with. So if this is something you like, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if there is a certain oil or something you want me guys to look up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also check out my other videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!